The Anking has officially upgraded to Anki 2.1, and this video will show you some of the differences between Anki 2.0 and Anki 2.1. Be sure to check out our video linked in the description that will show you how you can switch back and forth between the two of them and get full use out of the add-ons that are only supported on one or the other. I'm excited to show you about Anki 2.1, and as you can see, my homepage looks very similar to how I had it on 2.0, but there are a little bit of extras. There are some add-ons on Anki 2.1 that Anki 2.0 didn't have, and the reason I'm using it is because everything I was using previously is supported. Now, I recommend you go and watch our video here on how to switch between 2.0 and 2.1. You can have both of them running on your computer at the same time. Now, it is important to note in the preferences settings here there is an experimental v2 scheduler I'll go back to my internet here I will link this in the description to this page this is a description of what the changes are in that v2 scheduler uh, it's a little updated however if you click that box you will not be able to go back to Anki 2.1 so I am not using that at the moment alright some of the other changes that Anki 2.1 has as you can notice these buttons are here instead of over on the right side like they were and the browser is also a little bit different now I have a bar up here, but what yours will look like is just like this. Uh, and I like it to kind of look like it did back when I had 2.0, and so I, I downloaded an add-on called FastBar. Now the sidebar you'll notice, there's also some things missing here. What you do is you go to the filter, and things like added today, studied today that used to be over here are over here. Now some of the new things, you can flag multiple different colors, which is very useful and you have all these you can also have a, uh, a your own filter so for example I have created buried and unsuspended here but you could also if I wanted to do is suspended because I was using that filter a lot it's actually right here but this is an example go filter save current filter and it would put it over here for you which is really nice now an important thing I need to mention is Previously, I had shown videos where if you search something and you find the thing that you want, uh, you could just delete it and hit enter and it would take you to that card in the context of what it was created around. It does not do that on this, but a workaround, if you just hit the search button here, it will take you back to that card and you can see it in the context of things that it was around. So that's really nice. And finally, what I want to show you is some of the add-ons. The add-ons page is much nicer here on Anki 2.1, and I will be making videos on all of these add-ons. You're welcome to try and figure it out yourself. However, it did take me a while to get everything so that they don't conflict with each other. Now, some of the nice things in the add-on page is you can click on something and then toggle enabled, and then you have to restart the program, but it will enable or disable certain add-ons whenever you want, which is really nice. You don't have to re-download them. Another thing, for example, this customized keyboard shortcuts, I highly recommend this add-on. You can go to the config here and you can alter things as you wish. It's extremely nice. Multiple add-ons have that uh, feature. So that's Anki 2.1. And like I said, we will be making lots more videos on all of the add-ons and how to use it and everything. So thanks for watching. Subscribe so you can keep, keep up with all the future videos. Thanks for learning with the Anking. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.